Hey guys, welcome back to Frost Gaming. Today's video is going to be on how to, I um, recently I did a video on how to set up iFinity or whatnot. Uh, it's called iFinity with AMD and it's called NVIDIA Surround with uh, NVIDIA. So recently I did a video a while back on how to set up iFinity with an AMD card. So now, now that I have NVIDIA cards and two of them to be exact, uh, 980 Ti's. So they're running an SLI and I want to show you guys how to set up NVIDIA Surround. So that means three monitors on NVIDIA, three monitors or NVIDIA Surround. So basically we're going to zoom, we're going to go over to the monitors real quick and I'll show you guys how to do that. By the way guys, if you aren't triple monitoring bro, why aren't you triple monitoring bro? What the hell? It's, it's amazing, you should try it sometime. All right guys, so if you can't see this, I'm sorry if I sound a little muffled, I'm off to the side of the mic right here, but we're gonna go to NVIDIA Control Panel right here when you right click on the desktop. So what you do is you go to Configure SLI. It should show both, all three of your monitors right here. Now I have my TV up here hooked up above my monitors. I have that hooked up in the second graphics card through HDMI. I know I need to get a display port and hook that up through display so I can have a fourth monitor up there. But as far as these three go right here, we're gonna go over to the left side here. It should be under 3D settings and we're gonna click on configure SLI surround PhysX. Then this should come up if you guys haven't seen it already. So then you're gonna click underneath SLI configuration. You're gonna click on the circle for span displays with surround. So you want that right there. Then you're gonna click configure. So now it's gonna come up with a couple of numbers. If you're updated to the most recent NVIDIA surround setup um, control panel, it's gonna come up with some numbers on your monitor. So you're gonna have one on the left, two on the right, three in the center, two on the right, three on the right, whatever your numbers are. So you have to match on the screen here, you have to match what your numbers are. So if two is in the center, you have to match it like one, two, three. Uh, how it's displayed on your monitors. Mine is one, three, two. So mine needs to be one, three, two. So now that's pretty much all you have to do. So once it's set up in 132 um, and all your monitors are checked down here, all you have to do is click apply. Now if I click apply, all my screens are gonna go dark. I'm sorry I can't record it on the monitors, guys. It's just, it's acting really weird when I do that. So we're gonna do 5824. Now I'm gonna show you what bezel correction is. So bezel correction is if you click on this and you wanna see where your bezels are at. So you can just go to where the trees line up where you think they should line up or whatnot. So let's go with 12. So apply. Now that's gonna apply your corrected bezel. Okay, so that's my corrected bezel. Everything's all good. Now your NVIDIA setup surround should kinda like glitch out and do whatever it wants to right now. I don't know why it does that, but that's just what it's gonna do. So now we just have to go and that's pretty much it. That's all you gotta do guys. It's pretty simple, pretty pretty straightforward. If some of you guys out there didn't know how to do it, um, I'm sorry, but I, that's why I put these videos out there for you guys, is for you guys' help. All right guys, so if you enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a like and a comment down below. That definitely helps me out. It actually, what leaving a like does is it spreads the video around to other people so that other people can see it. So if there's a lot of, if you know anybody that has troubles with setting up their surround or whatnot, I have one for AMD. I just decided I'd do one for Nvidia as well. So I'm just not on one side of the fence. You just, I wanna, I wanna put a video out for both sides of the fence type thing, so. Um, I'm just showing you how I did it, how I got it done, and how it works. It works great for me. Um, you have to make sure that you have a 500 series or higher NVIDIA card if you're doing AMD Ifinity. You need to have a 5000 series or higher AMD card. So that's, uh, that includes like the 5850, the 6870, you know, shit like that. So anyways guys, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a like and a comment down below. I definitely appreciate it. If you disliked the video, I guess dislike the video. Um, we'll see you guys in the next one and I hope you enjoyed. Stay frosty.